Let's get it. Welcome back, everybody. So this topic I'm talking about is the Forex VPS. No, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't buy a cheap one. Don't go buy, don't go rent a cheap Forex VPS. I'm gonna say it right now. <clears throat> Number one reason it's freaking slow, it is too damn slow. If you actually do go get one, if you, if you are running one, I hope you have the best one. And so what I did is I went to straight to ForexVPS.net and I got their basic plus. Uh, it's a step up from the basic. And uh, I'm going to show you guys why it's freaking slow when, why, and why I don't recommend getting a cheap one. If you do plan on getting one, you should get a dedicated server. And dedicated server runs 16 gigs of RAM. It runs the, the Intel Xeon cores, CPUs. And when you, when you buy a, when you go get, when you go purchase the, the cheaper one, right, the Forex VPS ones, instead of a dedicated server, you don't get the amount of performance that you're looking for. And so I'm gonna go ahead and run through here and show you guys, uh, let me show my screen here, yeah. And so with this, so with this, you get to see that my CPU is already running more than 50%, like it's been topping out at 100% for the past, um, you can see the utilization here. It's been topping out at 100% ever since I got this. And I'm running on the basic pack, uh, the basic plus package. So with the basic plus package, uh, let's see. It's $384 and 80, yeah, three, like 385 for a whole year. Or you can pay 30 bucks a month. And now we're gonna run into the Forex plans right now. And I'm gonna show you. I at least I, I have nothing against them. I'm just showing you that if you were to go purchase one, that you should get the best of the, the best of the best, the top of the line, the, the top model. So the best one is your dedicated server, but you but that's if you're willing to pay 274 a month. But you get your 16 gigs of RAM versus what I have. I only have two gigs of RAM. So that's a that's a huge difference, right? Because realistically, a gaming PC, which I which I would recommend. It already gives you 16 gigs of RAM, and, or uh, and also the eight gigabytes or a six gig uh, graphics card, and then on top of that you get your your uh, you know you want a quad core, but I mean you can see now you have six cores and eight cores and 12 cores uh, CPUs now. So for me running running just one CPU because it's just one CPU at 2.2 gigahertz, and then two gigs of RAM. And I'm and I'm on the uh, let me go back here and I'm, I'm on the uh, let's go back to the VPS plan. I went and got the basic plus right. So with the basic plus right is where you get two gigs of RAM, one one CPU. Make sure you know your location. I actually chose London because I'm using Traders Way and LQDFX, so they're closer over there and they're tied to London servers. That way your latency, uh, your ping, or uh, your the time of trading, uh, that way you get real-time trades at the exact time instead of going into a different location server where the broker is not there, then your timing of trading isn't, isn't there. It's going to fluctuate. So that's very important, especially when you choose a, uh, a, a server location. And I, don't get me wrong, by far, customer service has been been awesome customer service is, is awesome I mean they've been there with me since I got this and but like I said I, I struggled I struggled all day getting this done and when I finally got it up and running I mean it's it's still slow and I mean I, let me run let me hop in here I mean you guys can see I'm, run, I'm running two right so I'm running two terminals they're saying that with the basic plus you can run up to eight I wouldn't recommend that because if you're going to try and run eight, guess what's going to happen? You're probably going to over, over, or like I said, you're probably, you're going to overpower, you know, you're trying to do, I don't say overclocking because some computers, some computers can overclock. This is not an overclock server. So you're trying to run max power and you're trying to like overdrive your, this server to the max. 
I'm already maxing out the CPU, the usage of the CPU with just these two two MT4 terminals just just running by itself. And realistically, like this thing is so slow. So let's so if I were to click on the internet here, so I already double clicked it to show you guys how slow this is. So it finally popped up. If you're wondering, um, the Windows Windows Server operating system is the Windows uh, 2012. There is a Windows There is a Windows 2008, 2012, and a 2016. The 2016s are coming with the dedicated servers if you get one. So, and let's just say I'm going to close this out. All right, so I'm going to close this out. It's actually a little bit faster, but you can see that I'm still running, you know, full throttle on the CPU by itself. And you can see that I'm already 50% on my RAM. And I'm not even doing anything on here. So, it, like I said, it's a pretty, I mean, I can see why I call it basic, but I mean, this is pretty slow, right? For, for, what, for what you have for your PC at home, compared to what, they're, what you're getting for, right? Is you're only getting one CPU, and then you're getting um, two gigs of RAM, which is not, which is not highly recommended because realistically, if I'm running my MT4 on my own computer, I know I'm using more than two gigs of RAM. And I'm running 64 gigs of RAM on my gaming PC. So that's a huge difference. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I just, I just want to let you guys know that if you decide to get it, you know, if you decide that you don't have the money, like I said, you don't have the money, and you decide to get a basic one, even a standard at three gigs of RAM or even a professional at four gigs of RAM. I think you might get away with the four gigs of RAM with the four cores here. Might be a little faster, but I mean, you have to, uh, I mean, you really have to like, to be honest, like I, I didn't test out the professional. I only did the basic plus because they said that with the basic plus, you can run up to eight MT4s. And like I said, I'm just giving you guys a little, a little bit of what I've, what I've done so far with this uh, VPS and how much it's really running. And, I mean, you can see it is still at 100% usage on, on one, one CPU. It's not, that's, not a, that's not a recommended way of running your CPU. Because if your CPU is running 100% all the time, obviously if I, it's going gonna, gonna to get, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lose. It's going to lose performance. Just like running a car at, at at max speed, right? So you can only say so you can only you can only overclock, you know, your your computer for so long before before it cannot overclock anymore, and that goes for anything, you know. And so, I mean, like I said, I'm not, I don't have anything against the the company or anything. I just you just have to if you're seriously going to get one. And you want the performance, like I said, you gotta go get check out the dedicated servers. And I mean, like I said, you can see a huge difference from going with a dedicated server. You can you can customize one. And so that's like I said, that's just my opinion on it, my two cents on it. And you know, if you don't believe me, if you think you have, you know, if you think you can run a basic, you know, on, on your on yours, go ahead. Be my guess, but I, I mean, I like I said, I struggled all day running this thing. And I mean, <clears throat> I say, you know, enough, enough about the bad thing, but the, the number one thing that you should, why you should get one, why you should get a Forex BPS is that this thing runs 24 7. And you went and it's a remote desktop connection. And so basically, like, I would do, let me type remote. So you do like a remote desktop connection here. You connect, this is my IP address. I already, I already been connected. And then they just ultimately I say yes. And then confirm a remote session. It's good, it's already, it's still basically just rebooting itself again, re restarting itself again. So I'm just re-logging back in again. And so you can see that this is what it does here. Windows 2000, Windows Server 2012. And then it's gonna, get connected here and so I mean like what I'm saying is is that uh, make sure like I said 
make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into with this VPS. And I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta understand that, you know, your computer at home runs more, has more than one. I, I, I'm pretty sure your computer at home has more than one CPU. It should have at least a quad core. That's what most, most PCs should have. And most PCs should have at least 16 gigs of RAM. So that's a huge difference, right? When you're running your own computer versus running this VPS. And I mean, <laughs> maybe like I said, it's only like said, 39, 39.99, but they're, they're, they're having a little promotion, November promotion. Well, I don't see it no more, but they were having their promotion where are giving people, I think I got like 20% off, whatever it was. And so, like I said, to be honest, like I said, you have to really, really like, if you seriously, like I said, if you seriously need one, I mean, there's probably other options out there. And, but right now, I mean, right now, I mean, it would just make sense. Like I said, if, if you got the money, it makes sense to get a dedicated server. And so, like I said, I have nothing against the company. I have nothing against, you know, uh, what they're doing. You know, it's just that don't get the basic package if, because it's not, it's not going to be the, the most reliable performance that you're looking for. That's what I believe. Oh, that's what I was looking for. But I knew that it's going to run 24 seven, but the question is, is it going to be reliable? on the latency, on the actual real-time trading, and I need it to run, you know, you know, pretty much as fast as it can, right? And otherwise, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, otherwise you lose, you know, you lose traction and you lose the performance that you're looking for, especially when things don't go the way that you're anticipating trading. So, uh, like I said, this is just a, a video about the Forex VPS that I've been working on. And like I said, I struggled all day with this one. And like I said, I come to realize this is not this is not what I need. I need something better. I need to run something better than this. And so the next, and it looks like the other option would be is to like build your own, uh, like a pre-built server computer or customize your own server computer and then buy the actual operating system and then run it, run your own VPS on it. So that would be the other way of doing it. So I'm looking at that option instead, instead of paying 300 bucks a month. So other than that, like I said, other than that, I mean, I'm just gonna run it manual for now on because I'm not gonna try and mess around with this. It is such a headache. So, like I said, the only problem when you run it on your own is that you, you physically have to be here because let's just say the internet dies out, I have to come back and power the internet back on. Or if the, if the company that, that runs the internet, the internet company that runs it, they go out of, their internet goes out, then I can't do anything because I'm running it manually. But if you run a VPS, your internet dies out or your computer dies, computer crashes, whatever, or if the MT4 crashes, guess what? You're, you have a remote desktop connection to another server, so that server is constantly running no matter what. It's just that this server isn't up to speed and up to the performance that I'm looking for. And so, there, like I said, there's a lot of, there's a lot of benefits of having a, four, a, a, a VPS versus not having one. It's just that if you go with the cheaper route, then you're not getting the speed and the performance that you're looking for. That's the, that's the only drawback. That's the only thing that you're losing out on. And so, if you, like I said, if you plan on going with these basic ones, I don't know if about the standard two-core CPU and wouldn't, meet up, wouldn't meet up to my expectation. Maybe the, maybe the four-core CPU might, but even though like, it's still running four gigs of RAM. Remember, every MT4 runs about – one and a half to two gigs of RAM. So, I mean, it's, it's crazy. And so if that's, if you think that it's worth the money, you go ahead and get it. If you, but I mean, 
I like say I love I would love to see uh, I would love to see everyone else's review on their VPS as well. And you know, I I mean, it's tough to find other people's uh, VPS videos because you only see them talking about like how to install it, but not like the actual review if they like the VPS and the performance of the VPS. So I would like I said, I would like to see other forex traders talking about. Uh, how they utilize their forex VPS and which plan and which plan they're using, and by far like I said nothing would be the, the dedicated server. So unless you have your own built built server, but other than that, I mean enough what I'm talking about here. And I said I hope this like uh, like I said I hope this is a very informative video to where you guys can understand what it is to run the forex VPS and the costs and you know. Is it worth buying a cheaper one versus buying an expensive one? You know, the Forex VPS versus a dedicated server. Obviously, you would pick, I would pick a dedicated server if I want the top of line. And so that's it. That's pretty much all I got. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to keep talking about the same thing. But other than that, like I said, you know, this is, this is, this is very, this is very important because a lot of people, I'm pretty sure a lot of people looked into the VPS and they don't, and they don't have a clue what it is. And so, and they don't want to probably want to put any money on it because they don't know what it does. And so, this is this is important because if you if you want to go full time in forex and you're running, you know, you're running trade copier, you're running signals, you're running everything else. I mean, this is this is this is better. And uh, I'm not talking about Telegram. I'm not talking about WhatsApp. I mean, that's that's just a chat group. So. I'm talking about you know running your you know running actual actual software here. So other than that, I mean that's it.